Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be showing how to set up dual rates and expo and aileron differential on the Flysky FSST16. Now I don't regularly use this radio so I've sort of had to just sit down and nut out how to do it. Um, so if anyone knows uh, that I'm missing something or knows a better way, feel free to let me know. So I have a new fresh model with nothing set up on it here uh, and the first thing I need to do is make the wing layout have two ailerons that gives us uh, access to aileron differential. With these radios you sort of only get some of the menu items with specific uh, initial setups. So we have two separate ailerons. So we'll go to model menu, menu now and we have a dual rate screen, a function rate screen and a condition screen and we can use uh, either the dual rates or the conditions. The classic is the dual rates, that's just um, two rates. If you want triple rates, you sort of can do it with dual rates but it's, it's kind of easier to do it with conditions I think. But in the, anyway, let's go to the classic dual rate. So now with this screen we'll set up a switch to operate the dual rates on a, a particular control surface or, or a channel so we've got ailerons there that's sort of preset to ailerons but so that is indicating channel one aileron on channel one and we do do have aileron on channel five because of the setup we did initially and we'll also do it for elevator and of course you can do it for rudder as well so first step is to select a switch uh, you just get into the switch page and toggle the switch and it will select that switch so remember to push the scroll wheel to select that and then you get to select uh, which is on and which is off we'll just leave it as default so now switching that switch you can see the switch is going on and off and now we'll go to the function rate screen and you can see the second adder on is grayed out that means that whatever we do here will happen to both of these both ailerons so in this screen we can now set up the rate and expo for those two different switch positions. See here, uh, we've got mode one normal, that's just the normal flying mode, and the dual rate one per switch position. So say we want normal just to be a straight line like that, and the second rate to be a uh, lower rate, say, so 60% rate and expo of uh, negative 30. Note that they use negative numbers for the usual expo which is opposite of a lot of other uh, systems. So now switching the switch we go from normal mode to dual rate 1. And if we go back to the channel monitor we can have a look at that. There are the ailerons and switching the dual rate switch you can see it operates on both the ailerons. So that's basic, basic dual rates. And now the next obvious thing you would want to do is put in some aileron differential. So if we go to the aileron screen there, because we've put in two separate ailerons, it now gives us access to this aileron differential screen. And we can change the rate on the high and low side and let's put in say 50% of differential on each aileron. Now we can see upside is 100%, downside is 50%. And that is with the dual rates in as well. So there we have dual rates, expo and differential. Now if you want to do the same on the elevator, we go to this screen and choose elevator as the function choose the same switch again go to the function rate screen go to elevator and again we have those two switch positions and we will have again reduced rate in the down switch position and some expo as well So 
So elevator, and then switching the rate. Uh, elevator and ailerons, and they're all switching between the two rates. So that's basic dual rates and expo. Now you can set up triple rates in this screen, but you would have to set up another line and another uh, select a three position switch instead and um, sort of set up a, the dual rate three as the third position. Um, but I think it's nicer to do it in the condition page here. So here we can set up three different flight modes if you like. A couple of flight modes, we'll copy or put a new one in there. And a new one, yes. And we'll want to rename them. And I would call them something like normal, mid and high or something like that. So now we have three conditions available. Condition, condition one, normal, two, mid, and three, high. Uh, so now we'll set the switch and we'll choose our three position switch, this one here. And now we can select uh, which position does what. So There we go. It's a bit tricky setting up these switches sometimes. It doesn't seem to follow any logic. But uh, we've got normal mode, mid mode and high mode. And of course now we can go to this function rate screen for ailerons. And we're switching between the three modes and you actually get the name of the mode here which is nice so normal it's uh, do something like 50 and 30 expo for normal 75 and 30 for mid and 134 high so there we have the three different flight modes or conditions also operating the triple rates. So let's have a look at them. There's the ailerons obeying the flight conditions. And of course you can do the same for the elevator as well. And these ones automatically are entered. You don't need to do the DR2 like we did before. So ailerons and elevator all obeying the conditions, the three conditions. So that's basically triple rates using the condition, condition screen. Now just to show you, uh, we have the three conditions set up there like that. If you then pop in the dual rates, which as well, that sort of overrides whatever condition you're in something to be aware of you'd use one or the other not both I don't think although in the dual rates screen I should mention you get to choose which condition over here the dual rates are active in now the powerful thing about conditions is that it also saves everything else is set up in the model for that particular condition such as trims individual trims for each different condition and and any mixes you've set up as well, they also get uh, saved with each different switch position, each different uh, mode or condition or flight mode, whatever you want to call it. So there's a lot going on, but if you just want basic dual rates, then you just set it up in the dual rate screen like that, very quick and easy. Uh, if you want the full fl flight mode experience, then you use the condition screen like that and set up as many, I think up to five uh, different conditions. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I should tell you I've actually set up a Patreon account too. If anyone wants to contribute contribute to the channel or 
get my attention and ask for specific videos then um, you can feel welcome to join my Patreon account and uh, give, it, give me a little bit of financial support. Not that I really need it and I'll do this um, no matter what um, and I, I previously never wanted to set up a Patreon on account because I thought I would feel obliged to, to keep producing videos that people are asking for and I won't do that, I just do the videos that, that uh, interest me so um, totally up to you if you feel like contributing to my Patreon account then feel free. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.